take this off me. I have enough for one of us got it right. <laughs> Oh, my dog loves the cold. She loves to go out in it. So it's the summertime when she's refusing to go out. You know what? We have got winter officially beginning tomorrow, and we've got a winter chill for sure out there with us today. You can see some of the high thin clouds, some of the jet contrails as well. This is the view from top of the Oh, Henry Hotel there at Friendly Center, and we're going to see those clouds getting thicker as we go into the nighttime hours. Tomorrow is the first day of winter. It's the winter solstice, the shortest day. We've got sunset tomorrow at 508 p.m. We've got chilly conditions in tomorrow's forecast. Rain is possible, especially in the eastern part of the triad. Wednesday and Thursday look mainly sunny and seasonable. For Friday and Saturday, it gets a little milder and we will have some passing clouds, even a small rain chance. We'll talk about that. Our temperatures right now, boy, they're dropping real quick, aren't they? 33 in Reedsville, Martinsville at 33, North Wilkesboro at 37. Notice that arm of moisture down to the southwest. So first clouds and then a lot of this I think is going to be evaporating before it makes it down to the ground. So it may look on the radar like we've got a lot of rain tomorrow, but we might not get any really on the ground that is measurable. But I do think we could have a mist. We could have a sprinkle, a passing shower. So that is possible. We definitely will have the clouds, so it'll be pretty overcast even as we start tomorrow morning with those temperatures just below freezing. And then during the day we slowly warm up, but I think maybe mid to upper 40s is all we get. We've got that rain chance late in the day, especially for places Places like Alamance and Randolph County. So as for measurable rain, not looking for much across most of our region. It's more just a mention that I have to do here. So 30% chance for a passing shower late tomorrow afternoon with a high of about 46 in the triad. We do have plenty of clouds around a light east wind in the foothills with temps in the mid to upper 40s. Could be some patchy drizzle with those temperatures below freezing. Just make sure that you're careful when you walk out on those back steps for the mountains. Drizzle possible in the morning, not likely though. Plenty of clouds, temperatures in the mid to upper 40s tomorrow afternoon. This storm is actually going to track right up our coastline. The next one comes in just in time for the holiday weekend. And yes, if you're going to be traveling, it's going to bring snow Wednesday and Thursday to the Pacific Northwest. And then that snow will carry into the plains on Friday and into the Northeast on Saturday. So if you look at this holiday travel outlook, this shows you the rain and snow Thursday into Friday. Another storm there for the Pacific Northwest Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. Look at the rain and snow over the southwestern part of the U.S. as well, Saturday into Sunday. So definitely check your flights if you are heading to the West Coast. Meanwhile, on the East Coast, the temperatures are fairly mild. There's a good bit of cloud cover around. There is a storm system on Christmas Eve that brings rain and some snow to the lakes, and then that one does move up over New England for Christmas Day. We may have a passing shower with that front late Friday night into early Saturday, but but I do think most of our holiday weekend is going to be dry. So you look at Friday, we've got temperatures that are chilly. You can see that rain chance. It's very spotty Friday night into early Saturday. So we're going to play it like this for now with a small rain chance late Friday night, Christmas Eve, perhaps a sprinkle or a lingering shower very early Christmas morning. Otherwise, some mild temperatures and at least a little bit of sunshine into the holiday weekend.